Hey everyone, Dan from Creepy Creations here, and today we're just going to give you a quick tutorial on how we built this nifty looking pirate ship's wheel. First, a list of materials you'll need. Starting with your first piece of plywood, locate the center and drill a small hole through the middle. Now taking any piece of scrap wood a little over a foot long, put a hole in it that you can put a bolt through, and then out measure out from that 11 and a half, 7 and a half, and 2 and a half inches, and put small holes in there. We'll use this as a template for marking our plywood for cutting. Once your template's ready, insert it into the plywood and grab your pencil. Now, using the template in your pencil, trace out three circles that you can use for cutting later. Now, time for some cutting. Grab your jigsaw and cut out that outside circle. Now, drill a small hole inside your second circle that you can use as a starting point for your next cut. Once that's cut out, you now have the outer disc of the wheel. Now, drill a small hole on the outside of your third circle and use that as a starting point to cut the metal out. We'll use this as the center of the wheel. Now repeat the entire process over again with the second piece of plywood. When you're finished, you should have two outer discs for the wheel and two center pieces for the wheel as well. Now it's time for the spindles. We actually don't want the middle part, so instead we're gonna cut the ends off as close to the curved part as we possibly can so it's nice and smooth. We should end up with two handles we can use for our ship's wheel. Now do this three more times and you should have eight handles for your wheel. We can start putting it together so you get a general idea of what it's going to look like. Once you've got it assembled and looking the way you want, screw it together by using two screws in the outer ring and one screw in the inner circle for each spindle. That'll hold it together nicely. Once it's completely screwed together, you can drill out the center hole for your dowel. Add a little stain and it's looking pretty good. Now it's time to put the base together. We'll take our pine boards and cut them into 42 inch lengths. That'll give us a nice height for the support. Choose a piece that will be the back of your stand and put a mark three inches down from the top in the center. This is where we'll mount the flange. Now it gets interesting. We need to drill out the center of our dowel with a hole that's just smaller than our plumbing connector. We want to be able to thread the plumbing connector into the wood so the fit's got to be relatively snug but not so tight that the wood cracks when you screw it in. Test to make sure that the pipe connector rotates freely inside the flange. This will actually become an end rotating connector for our dowel but because the wheel is only going to rotate about one quarter of a turn the amount it moves in and out with the turn is pretty much negligible. Now I need to attach an arm to the side of my dowel. I've taken a thin strip of metal and bent it at 90 degrees. By putting in two holes I can screw it to the side of the dowel and I'll have lots of strength. Now we need to mount our casters on some scrap wood and position it under where the front of our stand will be. We've drilled a hole for the dowel to pass through and we have to line up the casters so the dowel will actually ride on top of them. This allows it to move freely and the casters will support the weight of the dowel and the heavy ship's wheel. Now we install our wiper motor and add a linkage so the motor can turn the arm on the side of the dowel. It really doesn't matter how you mount the motor, it's entirely up to you. Just make sure you leave enough room so you can put sides on your base. Now's a good time to install the power supply too. We use an old PC power supply. We'll use some scraps of wood to permanently attach one side to the back. Next, we'll attach the front to the one side. We'll leave the second side free so we can work on the insides. Now, use one of the scraps of your pine board to cut a piece out for the top. It doesn't have to hold on very tight, so just a few small nails will hold it in place. And now's a good time to trim your dowel down so that it's just long enough to fit through the wheel, but leave enough space for it to turn freely when it's mounted on the base. Add a little stain, and it's looking as good as the wheel is. Lastly, we'll remove the top piece and, using a couple of screws from the bottom, we'll mount the fence post cap onto the top. It adds a nice decorative touch and doesn't look so plain. Now we'll hook the power supply up to the motor. Instead of using 12 volts, we actually used 5. 
It still provides a lot of power, but the motor runs slower, which is exactly what we want. Finally, we mount our skeleton. He's held up with an aluminum rod secured to his back with some wire ties, and his hands are attached to the wheel with a couple of rubber bands. You never really notice them because they're almost the same color as the plastic bones. Arr, and there he be! 